alumni and students enjoyed homecoming at Hannibal Grange University. Good day, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Newsbeat. I'm Brenda Mata. This past weekend, HLGU homecoming returned in a more normal way after it was downscaled last year due to COVID-19. This year, students were able to attend various events throughout the week, ending with the homecoming bash on Saturday. HLGU's Director of Student Activities, Stephen Crane, brought a new vision to this year's homecoming. In the past, we've done combined alumni and current student events. Um, we've separated them a little bit this year and then hopes to kind of engage in the current culture of the students. And I, I think tonight was a hit. Rather than the traditional formal event, the homecoming bash consisted of fun activities for the students, such as cornhole, a photo booth, raffle drawings, portrait drawings, food, and some live music from various artists. Crane says he wanted to make sure the event was more engaging. The homecoming court was recognized and results of the votes were shared. The 2021 homecoming king and queen were announced. Congratulations to Ethan Bray and Cicely Johnson. A special art show is on display right now in the Hagerman Art Gallery. The alumni art show opened on homecoming weekend and will run throughout the month. The show features a variety of work from HLGU graduates. The show includes sculpture, painting, and photography. Uh, we choose to do alumni uh, just to show our past graduates that we still support them, that we're interested in them, we value uh, their contribution in the world. Uh, having you know sent them out from this institution, we really want to just keep keep in touch and see what they're doing, and uh, and specifically what they're doing in the world of art. The next show in the Hagerman Art Gallery will feature the work of Sally Poole from Poole Communication. HLGU is excited to host pastor and actor Ken Bevel for this year's Booster Banquet. The event will take place on Friday, November 19th. Bevel is best known for his roles in the films Courageous and Fireproof. The Booster Banquet is a long-standing tradition at HLGU that started in the 1940s. While the event was online last year due to the COVID-19 pandemic, HLGU is excited to host Ken Bevel in person this year. Director of Alumni Relations and Development, Lauren Yao says, the Booster Banquet is a special event for more reasons than one. It's a great fundraising event, but also we call it a friend raising event where we we just introduce people to who we are here at Hannibal LaGrange. They get to hear from the president, they get to hear from our great speaker, usually one of our um, performance groups is there, either praise song or chamber choir, so they get to hear students, uh, the band or orchestra is there sometimes, and they and plus the faculty, staff, and students do all the work, so they get to see us serving them and and it's just, it's a fun event. Tickets are on sale now. General admission tickets start at $50. For more information on the event, you can visit the HLGU website or you can contact Lauren Yaus at the number on the bottom of your screen. Some future Trojans got a chance to visit HLGU during a recent visit day. High school students and their families were on campus to attend breakout sessions, get a campus tour, go to class, and meet with faculty members. The admissions office says the day gives students a chance to experience the atmosphere of HLGU. Trojan Days are so important to the university because it gives us a chance to showcase who HLG is as a family, and we bring our family to basically one place on campus while showing students around campus who we are. Um, it kind of gives the individualized experience to the group. The next Trojan Day is November 12th. To reserve a spot for that visit day, you can contact the admissions department at the email that is on the bottom of your screen. Moving now to sports, both the men and women's soccer team were in action during homecoming weekend. For a recap of those games, let's send it over to Grant Peters. Thanks, Brenda. Homecoming weekend included a matchup against Williams Baptist. Some loyal fans were on hand to cheer on the Lady Trojans. The women's game was an intense matchup of two evenly matched teams. Even though it was a close matchup, the Trojans were not able to handle on to the Eagles. The Eagles won the game with a score of 2-1. Coach Nichols and his team are now 2-6. Now on to men's soccer. We had a tight matchup in this one as well. The Trojans took an early lead in the 19th minute with a header from Martin Gutierrez. It was an outstanding goal. Take a look at this. Then in the second half, Mason Queen was able to add on to the lead with a goal off a penalty kick. The Trojans ended up giving up two goals in the second half, which tied it up. Sadly, the game ended in a draw due to lightning delay. The Trojans have a record of 4-3-1. The men's soccer team takes on Belleville University on October 9th, and the women's soccer team takes on Stevens College on the same day. That's it for sports. Brenda, back to you. That is all the time we have for now. Until next time.
I'm Brenda Mata.